Or it is also that we would like to share how to detect partial duplicates with the condition that each word must be found in the given text. For example, I and happy. So each single word can be found in this text. So this one we will call duplicate. However, if let's say we compare the first row with the second row, since we have extra word so, so so is not the duplicate of the first row. Let's proceed to the coding part. So we go to developer tab and go to visual basic. We double click on the current sheet as usual give a name to this project since we are doing we are going to do for duplication so we use the name to play kit we need two for loops here because one is for us to check for each cell and one is to compare with the remaining of the cells so we need two for loops here and we all to have all together we have 20 rows here so i equal to 1 to 20 so for j equal to 1 to 20 as well when we need to check is when the two tags the tags in two cells are exactly with the same length means that the number of characters are exactly the same that only we have to check otherwise we don't have to check since what we need is every single letter can also be found on the other text so then sheet one dot cells the one that we want to check is equal to any of the remaining so also the length sheet one dot cells j1 and also we have to make sure that they are not from the same cell if same cell then this is not considered gpk because they are the same cell the letters the text from the same cell so it's not considered duplication so we have to make sure that i and j are not the same for example let's say we when we have i is equal to 1 and j also equal to 1 basically this is the same cell so we should ignore this case and remember we want to check for every single letter or every single character in the particular text so we will make use of a, another dummy so then we want to check how many letters we have in the cell that we are going to check for so for example happy h a p p y all together we have five letters which means that we have to check h first letter second letter a p p y check every single letter compare with the other cell if all also can be found and the line is only the same which means that this is duplicate so we have to take note okay so we need another for loop so for m equal to 1 simply give a dummy to a so starting from the first letter until the last letter of this text we need to compare with we need to find this text this character this letter where they're also available in the other cell okay so we will be using the in string function like a search engine to search whether we have this text this letter or not so in the cell that we have before that let's consider all the components that we have in in string so the start and the compare are optional which means that it's not compulsory for us to input when we need to put start is when we need to put a number for compare we have to bear in mind that we have two case here one is case sensitive one is non-case sensitive zero to represent case sensitive and one to represent non-case sensitive if let's say our intention is just 
the same letter regardless is capital letter or small letter as long as for example a for example b as long as a as long as b that is considered the same letter then we have to make use of non-case sensitive then we need to put one here once we put any number here then this is no longer optional this is optional if and only if we don't have anything here so we have to bear in mind so let's say we want case sensitive so case sensitive is zero by default this function produces case sensitive so we can ignore start and compare so let's say we want case sensitive so we ignore the start and the compare so string one is for us to put the text where we want to check string two is we put the string, the character with the character that we are looking for. So the first string we should put the other cell that we want to check for. So sheet one dot cells J one. And then string one, string two. We, are, we ignore start and compare so string 1 already done now we should go to string 2 string 2 is the letter that we're looking for we are not, not going to use the left or the right function we will use the middle function the mid since for mid we can choose a particular cell that we want a particular character particular string particular text that we want for example if let's say we want to check for the first letter only then when m is equal to one if let's say we refer to the word happy so h a p p y the first letter is h so we will take the h and we check whether also available in this cell when m is equal to two so h a a we are going to check whether a is available here so this is the advantage of using mid instead of left right because left right we cannot ignore the the one before the left right cannot ignore the one before the right most so we have the string is the sheet one dot cells i1 then the start letter that we want to refer so we will always refer to m so we check every single letter every single letter so the length one since we check for every single letter okay so this is equal to what is the output the result for in string is the position where the letter or the character match in a particular text for example this is happy we want to look for happy and this is also happy so if let's say we check for the first letter h h found in the first position of this letter so the result will be one if we want to check for a then can be found in the second position of the cut all the characters in this text so will be result two so which means that as long as we are able to find a given letter a given character in the particular text the number will definitely appear here other than zero so we in other words we just make sure that it's not equal to zero so if not equal to zero means that match then we need to count how many of them match so we, we use another letter here so n is equal to n plus one so if let's say we check okay first letter match so we will have one letter match then second letter also match then we will have two mat letters match and so on so if let's say the number of letters match is exactly the same as the length of the text which means that all the single letter all the single letter in the text that we are looking for is exactly the same as the one that we have so which means that this is considered partial ubiquitous so we can take note so we have start with if or of course we need to end with if 
and run for the first aim after that go to the next aim then if n is equal to a so we have to ignore that this is duplication so let's say we want to show that the we want to record which duplicate we refer to and we want to refer the topmost duplicate the cells that appear at the topmost then we will have to make sure that we did not compare this before so sheet one dot cells and let's say we go in to reflect this duplication in the second text so we will have the in the second column so first column is the one that we want to check we want to reflect the duplicate in the second column and we want to show that only the topmost then we have to make sure that we did not compare before so we have to make sure it's now if let's say we have something already then we, which means that we already compare and we should ignore this since we already use so many if function then we instead of using if again so let's use select select case i we want to have the top most so if let's say case i is less than j so which means that i appear first the the cell i appear first so case is less than j then what we need to do we will take the text in i so we have i the second column this one will record the one in i otherwise case else we will record j which means that j appear first we always want to record the one that occur first so and select start with select of course we need to end with select start with if and with if start with if and with if then we have for j done next j for i done next i then our coding part is considered done now let's check the result now let's run and check the result so if let's say we run by using this code as we can see we obtain only one duplicate i am happy and happy am i is considered duplicate but here we we have the reference for the first cell but not the cell in the 14 row this is because as we can see according to the code that we have and here we'll keep on adding with the number one which means that n will no longer match with a anymore so what we have to do here is before we run this we have to make sure that n is always reset so when we check for the other cell and supposed to be reset so every time we will check for a new one then we match for a new one then we check whether it's a duplicate then only correct so we have to always initiate and with zero okay we delete the one consider duplicate and we run again so now we run as we can see this time is correct so i am happy i am happy this two exactly the same so as we can see we will refer we will refer to the first appearance of what we so call the duplicate so we will write here so that we know where is the first appearance of the duplicate and i am so happy I am so happy so so happy am i every single word can also be found in i am so happy but the first occurrence is here then we know where is the first occurrence this is the advantage then i am very happy very happy i am 
and happy I am very. So as we can see here, duplicate, 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 but the first occurrence is here. I will say like I am nothing here, which means that we cannot find any duplicate with the same length. So that's why nothing here and so for big, small and others. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.